previously on Rick's Rides. Tucked in the southwest corner of Utah, Zion is one of my favorite places to ride. The reddish tan color of the Navajo sandstone mountains make me feel like I'm in another world. My favorite thing to do when I want to get away and relax is go for a long ride on my bike. And that's something that I've always loved doing, but especially running a business, being a father, being a husband, and all the other things that I have going on in my life, there's nothing like getting that bike out and going for a nice long ride on a beautiful scenic road, clearing my head and just reflecting on everything. And that's the best medicine that I've ever found. I brought my new wing out to Traction Dynamics in Georgia so they could upgrade the suspension. Their business is only a few hours away from Tail of the Dragon, and I thought to myself, what better way to test it out? I've never ridden the Dragon, but I've always wanted to. What I found out when I rode up to the Deals Gap area in North Carolina was that there's a lot of great roads out there. Like the Blue Ridge Parkway, Skyway, and many more. I didn't have enough time to ride them all. But before I hit Tail the Dragon, I explored some of the surrounding area, including parts of Moonshiner Highway 28. I'm riding on the road surrounding Tail of the Dragon, and I gotta tell you, it's very beautiful around here. I'm liking the river, uh, the roads are nice. They're a little twisty, but not too bad. Just really beautiful countryside, perfect for a motorcycle, and uh, the Goldwing is the perfect bike to do it on, so I'm really having a good time. I stopped on the side of this bridge here because in back of me is the dam that was in the movie The Fugitive starring Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. Hands up! Over the head! Turn around! Pretty cool. At the base of the Dragon, there's a resort, restaurant, and gift shop that caters to motorcyclists. Most of all, the parking is designated for bikes. And they have gas pumps with high-octane, non-ethanol fuel. In the middle of the place is the Tree of Shame. It's decorated with pieces of crashed bikes and gear that fell victim to the dragon. It's the perfect reminder before taking on this stretch of road to ride safe. As anyone who has ridden it knows, it's 318 turns in just 11 miles. I've been on a lot 
of nice roads and this has to be the best motorcycle road I've ever ridden especially if you want to get a little bit aggressive there's a lot of twisties a lot of switchbacks it's a good thing I had traction update the suspension because I was able to push the bike a lot further than I could before and I'm just loving this place so I'm really glad I came One turn after another, testing my riding skills and focus. And I love every minute of it.